I'm gonna be prepping this wing and paint it gloss black. So let me know what you guys think, how it looks right now. This is just like a, a test of it and it's really spot on. So there's some minor imperfections, uh, like one at the corner right there is uh, chipped, very tiny, but I'm gonna put on like some body filler and just you know, fill it up. All right, so we're just sanding it with uh, 180 grit. Majority of it is dry, I'm just gonna wipe it down. Just it's a towel. Okay, so there's a hole right here, and there's a, a little tiny chip right there. A bit of glazing putty, just kind of squeeze it in there. So we're just gonna let it dry, sand it off, and see if we need to fill up another layer or so. Now we're gonna be laying on the clear. I'm gonna be using the 2K Clear Max. Uh, so it's a two part mixture. I used it on my front bumper and it's really glossy. So now I'm gonna be using it on the duckbill spoiler. So what you're gonna do is a two part, like I said, you take this cap, put it under the, the bottom and just pop that and mix it up. If you guys are using a spray can, try to use this trigger gun. It makes the job so much easier. Easier on the hands, on the fingers. So you just slide this through. So that's just the first layer clear. Alright, so in the next coat, I'm gonna be using a heavy coat. This is the second coat to clear. Like I said, I'm gonna be going pretty wet with this. Thank you. 
Let me show you guys. I think it might be my last, but I laid this one pretty wet. So as you can see, it's very glossy. And on the underside, you can see it's very glossy as well. You can see the reflections. Alright guys, so it's another day. I let the spoiler duckbill fully dry. As you can tell, it's super glossy from that 2K clear. And I highly recommend if you guys ever paint, use the 2K clear. It's very durable, it has that really high gloss. So, this is the back side. Yeah. As you can see, it's super reflective. I just cleaned up the trunk, the hatch, and gonna try to test fit it. I'm gonna dry fit it on just to uh, measure it and see the placement of the spoiler. And then I'm gonna put on the 3M tape. I just marked the masking tape just to see where I'm gonna put it once I lay off the uh, 3M tape behind it. Then I'm just gonna use some alcohol just to uh, make sure it's fully clean. Three M double-sided tape. Check it out guys, it is on there. The double-sided tape is extremely, extremely tight. As you can see, the fitment is on point. Show you the fitment on there. Yeah, the rear end definitely needed something. Uh, I feel like the rear end was too round. So this actually give it a nice little little aggressive look as well. All right, that is it for today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Peace.